Hi, I'm Alex, and this is Tank Tested. And beside me is the floating fountain illusion. Now, this setup is a favorite of mine for two reasons. First, I love growing plants both immersed and emergent. And this setup does wonders for that because all of the plants that are above the waterline naturally get wet thanks to the floating faucet. I also really love this setup because I love magic. And I'm not very good at magic, but this is an illusion that I can pull off. And I will show you how to do it yourself. It's really, really simple. So let's get started in explaining this setup. We'll start with the magic trick, because I know that's what everyone is most interested in. To make this illusion happen, you only need three tools, and they're pretty simple. I will show you uh, what they are. First, you need a faucet. Uh, I am using a spigot uh, that you would find in the side of a house or a garden. I think that this gives this an old-timey feel and a really cool uh, aesthetic. You could use something more modern. You could even use, uh, you know, a glass pouring water. You could do a lot of things uh, with this illusion, but you need something for the water to come out of. And unless you want to get really complex, it needs to be opaque. Next up, you need a pump. I have this little pump that has an on and off switch. So it's a nice little pump that has suction cups so I can stick it to the bottom of my UNS tank. Uh, so I've got my substrate there, but underneath this rock I don't have any substrate, which allows me to secure it securely to the bottom of the tank. Finally, to connect the spigot and your pump, you need something to support the weight and to transport water. Uh, because while this il illusion is convincing, that spigot is not being held up by flowing water. It's actually being held up by a piece of acrylic tubing. Now, this tube fits perfectly into my pump, and uh, water will flow up the pump, through the tube, and then overflow down the tube, disguising that the, the tube is there at all. See, if I squeeze this, I run into a tube. I can't pass my hand all the way through. And together, you just kind of situate the spigot on top, making sure to close the valve so that you don't have just a chute of water spilling out of the back. And it completes the illusion really, really elegantly. Now, you can get kits for all of these on Etsy or eBay, and that's actually what I did. I considered buying all the pieces myself. I didn't want to feel like I was cheating. But when I crunched the numbers, buying a kit ended up being about the same cost and it allowed me to avoid a couple of steps. First, uh, getting a tube that's the exact right diameter for your pump. You don't want water to be flowing out of the pump um, around a too small tube, and if it's too large, you won't be able to get it in the hole. Second, in order to make this work and make it more convincing, it's helpful to drill tiny little holes around the outflow of your tube. What that does is distribute the water flow. What you're actually doing is jamming this tube all the way up into the spigot. And because the spigot is closed, the water has nowhere to go. So water is not actually coming out of the end of the tube. It's coming out of all these little holes. And in doing so, you're getting even distribution all the way around the tube, perfectly disguising that there's anything there. It's a really amazing illusion. And I, I fell in love with this when I first saw a similar illusion with a spigot flowing into a bucket of marbles uh, at a holiday party when I was like 12 years old. I kept poking at the water and every time I was surprised, in spite of myself, that there was something there. It's such a convincing illusion. But that's not the only thing that I love about this setup. Normally, in order to get uh, immersed growth, or emergent growth, excuse me, that's stable, you need to keep your plants continuously watered if you're using aquatic plants. But 
With a system like this, all of this water is flowing all over the rock, which gives a perfectly even coating of water at all times. And it's justified by this really cool illusion. Now, because of the last year, I haven't had people over to my house to see it. So I can only imagine that even someone that doesn't like aquariums, if they came over to this house and they saw this setup, they would be mesmerized. Finally, I went through the process of properly planting this setup. So this is a UNS shallow tank. I knew I wanted something that was truly emergent from the water, something that would grow out of the water like this reed. I also used a couple of pieces of Anubias for that same effect. You could use a peace lily uh, in a similar fashion if you had a slightly larger shallow tank. And this tank is an Ultim Nature Systems shallow tank. It's a cube, but it's only a few inches high, which means that all the plants get all of their light from a nearby window. I don't have to add additional light. This whole setup just sits by a window looking magical. I have a bunch of stems in the back and a few other stems up in the front that add a pop of red. And all of those I pulled from my 150 gallon aquarium. They're just trimmings. In addition, I have a little bit of Nana uh, Anubias here right along the waterline, a little bit of Java Fern mixed in, and a little bit of Bucephalandra sprinkled throughout the tank. I also have some floating plants that are doing okay and add a little bit of interest and eventually they'll cover the surface of this aquarium and add a, one more really cool layer. On the rock itself, I've used a bunch of java moss and then a little bit of willow moss. If I were to start over from scratch, I would use just willow moss because its draping growth pattern works really well for this setup. And it doesn't need any substrate or nutrients outside of what it's getting from the water column. So it's just slowly covering my rock formation. And we'll get to how this rock formation works in a second because that's the last bit of this illusion. But mixed in amongst the java moss and willow moss are a bunch of small plants. There's some Bucephalandra, there are a couple of stems, and there are a couple of trimmings that I took from some of my wabi kusas. And I used all of them to kind of fill in these holes. And over time, they'll all become established. There's a little bit of aqua soil underneath some of the java fern so that the roots of all of these little plants will eventually find their way to little pockets of nutrients. So overall, you'll end up with a beautiful mound of plant growth. But I haven't talked about the magic that is this rock because how am I getting a tube through the rock and up to my spigot? Well, I used three pieces of rock here and I glued them together with pond stuff. Pond stuff is an expanding foam that's used to attach rocks in ponds, but it also can be used to glue aquarium rocks together. So I just used three rocks, kind of put them in a triangle with a little hole in the center and up through that hole runs my acrylic tube. It's a beautiful and elegant setup that absolutely captures the eye. And it's really, really simple. Now, one thing to note about this setup is that it does produce a little bit of sound. It adds that trickle of a babbling brook or a small waterfall. Because that's basically what it is. So if you're looking for an aquarium that adds that little sound of nature, that trickle of a waterfall, with the whimsy of an illusion, this is the setup for you. I wanna thank all of my Patreon supporters for their continued support and all of you at home for watching this video.